most of his memory of life. All right. Yes. I, and uh, he's just come out with work credit for what, last year? At least in the end of this year. In the end of this year, okay. All right, so it's released then. Uh, and it's, uh, I'll just let him tell the story. Uh, and welcome to Mark Ritter. Uh, kind of a short history on it. Um, started working out three years ago on uh, OS3, Win New AE. Uh, came back to me back then. This project of mine, I started back in high school. Never finished it. Back then it was a dual pane like Disc Master. Um, so my computers back in like 19, 1995. <laughs> And got back into it. Good. You hear me still? Yeah. Okay. No audio. And got back into it three years ago. Had an idea for it again. I always like tabs as a new concept idea. Get rid of the dual panes, the dual windows, all self contained into one. The more modern interface, more features. Uh, just Modern in general. We needed that for Amigos, I think. They're kind of stuck in the, what I call the 80s and 90s with the old software. I wouldn't bring it up to date. Um, the main thing was uh, this tab, in my opinion. I've gotten both negative positive feedback on that. Some say tabs are for web browsers. I say tabs are for everything. It's a space saver, a time saver. They work great in everything, I think. Uh, as you can tell, it's based on Windows Explorer, Macintosh Explorer. They work. Why not duplicate it? Tried and tested. It works. I based it on that. Um, it's pretty straightforward, I think. Basic categories for your devices and your favorites. You can add any bookmarks there too. Um, Pretty simple as far as I'm concerned. Uh, every function is there you might need. You can hide those buttons, show them as context menus. Got bookmarks, hide and show those. Regular advanced search and regular search. And the main thing that today is going to show is just some simple behind the scenes things that you might not know about, some new features. And I'm just getting to it. The most common use just your simple file browsing. Like anything. Uh, there are different styles you can do the folders and files. You can go to the minimalist. Just the basic file name only. The tiles. That's all content. It's more or date information on there. The thumbnail. If there was an image there, it would show an actual thumbnail of the image. If it's an MP3, it would show the cover art. If it was a PDF, it might even show a one page of it. Not every time, depends on the PDF itself. And the thumbnail and the details get more information out of there. Uh, my main use of this, though, is I call it preview pane. This guy. This right thing really shines. You have a picture, you get a preview of it. You don't need to open a secondary image view. It can all be done to here. You have JPEGs. We directed data here. Only, only JPEGs have that. Down here is your basic information for the file size and such. And it is in the details here. It's not my computer, but the one I had, it still play GIF animations. That's all we know. I won't play videos or 2D videos yet. There's no data type for that. 
I've been asked several times here at the show to do that. So I might make my own little parser to the first frame or two so they can find any data for that, a little uh, title, movie length, copyright, whatever you want to say. Go with like audio and MP3, which does the cover art. It will play. We got muted for YouTube. Shows the MP3 tags if it has any. These don't. They're not my MP3s. If you have the newer um, enhancer pack, sound data type, you can play pause. Without it, it's play stop. There's no resume on the OS4 standard one. And the volume works better with the new sound type and enhancer pack. I heard both are in the works being improved, so I'm hoping it will happen soon. It's much needed. Simple timer over here. Just your basic player, nothing special. Um, just something to preview, find the right song, then copy paste it, which is standard. Just right click on it, copy it. Open your tab, turn paste it. Simple as that. You don't need two panes, in my opinion. You don't need two windows, it's quick enough. Flip back, turn another one, copy it, paste it. Shortcut keys, Control C, Control B, and you can see, you can be very used to. I control better, closer together, have to reach with two hands. As far as uh, what I like, some part I don't know if you want to do or not. So you want to copy these three, control C it. I'm down here, select these three, shift control C, it appends it. So it pays all six in one move. With that, you can also cut and copy at the same time. One of the transactions I call that. We go back, select these two, copy it, select these two, cut it, go, paste it, two are copy, two are moved, in one step. You only need to do two operations. That's a little time saver in my opinion. So makes things easier. As far as the new features go for this one, we have an MP3. More players are leaning more towards having the <coughs> cover art and a set of file in the drawer. Drawer.jpg or cover.jpg. So I added download cover art. Didn't have the MP3 tag filled in, so I just fill in this. I hear man. Probably it's filled in for you. The MP3, but this one didn't have it. Oh, I'm sorry. Do it Here's your selection of albums to pick from. The higher the score, the more accurate it is on your selection. There are several that come down to 10%, 20%, 30%. Pick your year you think it is. Pick it the next. And there's a cover on it. You can download it as is, you can resize it to whatever you want, and save it to the folder, the drawer you're currently in. There it is. So now, my program, instead of drawing it out in MP3, will take that file to show it. When you play the MP3, it's just there. That's you. Say 20% faster, so he's playing and previewing a lot of MP3, he's saving a lot of time. And more players are taking advantage of this, so I think it's a way to go in the future. So that's the computers. And on the image side, what's new in this version is convert image. So I have this picture. You can do two things with it. You can change the format. Only these six have a save option in the data types that's all we have available right now. 
want to keep the same format, just pick that. Say you want to resize it. And that's it. Resize it. I like about 500 or so. Save the RAM.
Anyone want to drink? Ask your name. Right?
this here is kept on the radio. So like right now, say I had told my dad that I had seen a shark in this picture and I want to double click on it so that it fills the screen in and have like a, a zoom positive and negative on it and we could even zoom into it. Is that possible? I would like you down the road. All right, let's um, I didn't intend to be a full picture of you or the preview. And then, and then you click on it, and you, you click on it, and it goes back, goes back off the screen. Right? right, you don't click it. I find myself a lot of times where I need to show somebody something and I actually need to zoom in the picture. Right. So if you don't click it, it opens up in your picture viewer. Your okay, viewer. yeah. That's good. I think anything else. So, uh, you click the binary, you run the program. A little click, text file, open up all these things. Every step one. <laughs> it's only customizable. You don't need to see your user buttons. Laura. Your heart's content. Anyone else? I've been asked several times, is this free or going to sell it? It is free. I was intended to be free. I want people to use it, enjoy it, they like it. Here's a paid combination. <laughs> Thank you.